ladies and gentlemen, if a, um, a group of elephants would start to work from home, and after a week you would ask them, how was your week, what would they say? Now this sounds like a pretty stupid question because I know elephants cannot talk and they cannot work from home. But if you're a scientist, science often starts with very simple questions. And I asked myself in March 2020, I was sitting at home um, and I was asking myself, how would a group of elephants deal with this issue? Um, which is that the group which is supposed to protect you is attacking you. Yeah, so what, what for an individual is an autoimmune disease, that the system that is supposed to protect you is attacking you. That's what happens in a group of elephants when there is a coronavirus. The group should protect you, but the group is attacking you. So what do they do? So I was trying to, to get an answer. So I, I called a couple of my colleagues who are biologists, and I, I asked them this question. I said, if, if a group of elephants would start to work from home, what would happen? And if we would ask them after this week, what would they say? Now, let's do a little bit of thought experiment to wake ourselves up a little bit. Let's assume that after a week of working from home, or indeed to, to stay within a more realistic metaphor, the elephants decide that because of a coronavirus, which happened a lot among animals, that they decide, let's leave each other for a week. So they they disperse, they, 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 everybody goes their own way for a week and after a week they come back. How do you think mother elephant, which is the leader of the pack, the one who you see first on this picture, how do you think, wh what will she say after a week, anyone? You can shout, I will repeat it for the folks at home what you are shouting. What do you think? Loneliness, Loneliness. okay, Loneliness. anyone else? Are you all well? Yeah, one more? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so let's, let's assume that, that, the, that the mother elephant is, is feeling lonely. And that's exactly what, what I found in, in leaders, is that some of the leaders are, uh, are a little bit, they feel lack of control, uh, as uh, the previous speaker said, is that people want to know what you're doing. They want to be result-oriented, and you're at home. You have no clue, are people working, yes or no? Okay, then we go further in the herd, we go further in the group. Let's, if we ask the senior, um, if the senior people, how are the senior elephants, how, how are you doing after a week? And some of them will actually say, oh, well, I was pretty lonely, but there are also ones that say, well, to be very honest, it was a very nice week. Because that, uh, I had all the time for myself, I didn't have to wait for the rest of the elephants. It was pretty nice, actually, for my, let's say, work-life uh, balance. Okay. But then the question is, what will the small elephant, what, what will the small elephant say after a week? And then I, I was talking to my colleagues who were in biology, and they said, well, and I'm sorry, this is not going to be a very happy ending of the story, because most likely the small elephant is dead. Elephants live in groups in order to survive, and we human beings are group animals, and the reason why we live in groups is that the, our chances of survival is bigger. However, the majority of the people don't need the group. Actually, they don't benefit, they, it, it'll cost them time. But the thing is, you are born in a very vulnerable way into a group, and you will die in a very vulnerable way, and, and in the meantime, the group will take care of you. That's the idea of a group. The group is not for the strongest, it's also not for the average, it's for the weakest, the most vulnerable. Now, I know that this, this is a little bit of a philosophical uh, uh, beginning of my story, but I think it's crucial to understand hybrid working and the future of teams to go back where we came from. And the idea of a group is, in or is a survival mechanism for the most vulnerable ones, and that's how we start our lives.